as HOH, I will pick first, and I will pick Howie. This video game is obviously trust. And obviously I know Howie's agenda is in line with my agenda. I choose Yvette. I picked Yvette to compete with me because Eric made an agreement with Kaser that he would not participate. And I will never ask Eric to go against his word. I choose Janelle. I had to pick Janelle because this house hates Janelle. And I figured, you're going to turn on me, I'm going to use your worst nightmare against you. James picks Janelle. I think I crapped my pants. Screw the game. I wanted to go over there and beat James up. I was probably more in shock today than my mother was when she found out that I liked girls. As soon as he chose Janelle, I had a pretty bad feeling at that point. Oh. I don't play chess. Come on, guys. Sure Come on. We walk outside, and it's a giant chess set. Not only do I play chess, but much of my moves and strategy in this house has been fashioned after chess moves. I saw the second coming of Christ when I walked out in that backyard. Chess, there's no one that can beat me in this house. I was chess champion of my city. Game on. I can't even beat Sarah at checkers, so I'm already a mess. What do I look like, Bobby Fischer? It's time to play Night Moves. Everyone will choose a square on the board to start on. You will then take turns moving like a knight in chess. Knights move in an L-shaped path. They can move two squares straight, then one square to the side, or one square straight, then two to the side you will have 30 seconds to make each move. Each time a house guest makes a move, the square they land on will be removed from the board. That square then becomes out of play for the rest of the game. When a house guest can't find a square to move to, they are out of the game. Choose your moves like a grandmaster and the veto could be yours. Let's get this game started. Yvette, you're going to be the first person to make a move. The first um, position that we went on the board was to secure our spot on the board. Yvette is a complete moron. She should have went right in the middle of the board. That would be the most obvious. Next is James. It's my first square. I set myself up blocking off one of her moves. OK, next is Kaser. If you can pick your first square. My, my strategy, one, is, is to um, make sure that I have the maximum amount of spaces uh, available to me. And two, I want to strategically place myself around Yvette. Howie, you are next. Janelle, you are next. Everyone's strategy was pretty much the same thing. Get Yvette and Maggie out so they don't win the power veto, so one of us can win it and free James off the block. So Eric goes up. And last but not least, Maggie. I don't like to lose, especially knowing that I am on the line. I wanted the power of veto more than anything. Yvette, if you can make your move. James, you're next. You have 30 seconds to make your move. Mr. Kaser, you are next. Knights on the chessboard moves in an L shape in any direction, and you can move over people. Now, the point of the game is not to get stuck without a move. The winner is determined when every other person on the board uh, is left with no moves. Janelle, it is your turn. Maggie, you are next. Success with chess is anticipating your partner's next two moves. So they can move to one where they think they're safe, but after that, it's over because they have no more options. Okay. I think, I think I'm checkmate. Make your final move if you have one. These piranhas come after me. 
corner me, think two steps ahead of me, and I'm out. I don't think I have one. Okay. Yvette, you are eliminated from the game. You know, I wasn't surprised that Yvette was the first to go. Much like her game in the house, she uses very little tact, very little strategy. You could clearly see during the game that they were trying to box in Maggie, and uh, I knew that this was just getting worse and worse. James, you're next. And as the game went on, I started to realize people were limiting my plays, and that on the chessboard was when I discovered what was going on. Okay, sir, you're next. You have 30 seconds to make your move. Now you're next. I wanted to guarantee that Maggie didn't have any moves left when I was moving up into my um, positions that I wanted. Maggie, you're next. You have 30 seconds to make your move. I absolutely was mortified. I wanted to go home. I went, oh my gosh, <laughs> the game has taken a drastic turn. You have five seconds. Her breathing was changing. She was, she was sweating hard, you know. She knew she was toast. I declare that I cannot make a move. OK, uh, Maggie, you are now eliminated from the game. When I saw Maggie out, I said, done deal. James. When, when the dangerous pieces were removed from the game, being a vet and Maggie, Pressure is off. I mean, basically, we could have celebrated right there. I'm out of moves. OK, Janelle, you're eliminated from the game. <sighs> I was still trying to play it off like I had been defeated and that I was so pissed when I wanted James to win it, you know? OK, sir, you're next. You have 30 seconds to make your move. Seems like I'm out of moves. I was trying to throw the game. I'm probably one of the best chess players in this house, and I just wanted to look over and watch them squirm a little bit. Kaser doesn't know how to throw a game, and it was clearly obvious that um, James was going to win. Howie, you're next. You have 30 seconds to make your move. Howie was a part of what I'm calling the evil empire. He was in on the fix the whole time. I think that's it, April. OK, Howie, you're eliminated from the game. And James, you are the winner of the Golden Power of Veto. It gives me the chills because things are working out perfectly. And I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. When James won, that, uh, that was, that was a horrible feeling. Nice job, guys. Did good. Yeah. The house knew at that moment that they tried to screw over the wrong person. Eric picked his battles, and he chose the wrong one. Nice job, guys. That play. was awesome, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, no. Things are probably going to get ugly now. James gets that veto, and all hell breaks loose. I need to talk to you. Maggie wanted to talk to me, so she's like, let's talk all the way in the corner away from everybody. I truly believe you that it's not personal. It's not. But you know the game just got really nasty. I'm not naive. I know exactly what's going on. I know you do. Uh, you guys tried to pin me against the corner for a couple of weeks. Um, Everyone outcasts. did. Everyone did. I told myself, I get H-Y-H, I'm going to flip this thing upside down. respect around here. Or make people not like you even more, though. I don't dislike anybody. I'm just playing the game now. Yeah. And I, I don't, I want don't you blame me for that. I just, I just didn't think I was going to be the target of your game this early on. You're not the target. 
You were the okay, bait. So you sealed my feet. No. I sealed your partner's feet. I caught the bigger fish. I think what I said to her shocked her. She turned pale and she was about to throw up. Amazing. Amazing. <sighs> Amazing. I learned about Kaser that he was willing to do things that I wasn't willing to do um, to win this game. Keister has to deal with his own decisions. Not everything's as it seems. 